<clears throat> and we are back. I'm going to record this a little. Uh, <laughs> oh, that sucks. You definitely want the mermail player to go first. Oh, man. That sucks for him. But you do duality in the sanctum. Can't really argue with that. That is pure plus, my friend. But it looks like he's uh, thinking about it. I didn't see what other cards he milled, but Sanctum is just pretty much the most broken card in the whole game. And he double Sanctum. Oh, Soul Drain is kind of like good because it's especially good about uh, against. Um, what the hell is that about? <laughs> His uh, mind mind drain is very good against Mermails, negating everything that goes up in the grave. I'm not really sure what I would have taken. Because that is just a... Uh, that soul drain would have been really nice. Basically, unless he has the MST, he's fucked big time. So, he gets broken. He's not going to be able to add anything. Although, discarding title is pretty much a no-brainer. Deprison. Don't deprison it. It's not worth it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> he says, fuck your sanctum, I'm gonna attack anyways. <laughs> okay, he's trying to send it to the graveyard. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see if he has an Abyss Sphere to set. End phase MST. Ouch. Alright, so, wow, three back row. It's real tough having too many spells and traps in a mermail deck. This is this is bad. I think this wind up player might uh, have this. Wow. Well, um Oh shot through the heart. He's wiretapped. <laughs> that was critical. Effect shark five. He already used up his breakthrough skill. But I'm guessing this is a solemn warning. Oh. Oh. Don't get to add nothing. Don't get to add nothing. Because guess what, kids? MST negates continuous. But this is looking worse and worse for our uh, <laughs> mermail player over here. He's burning through his back row real quick. Real quick. Taking almost 4,000 damage. The only question is, is that a face down solemn warning? Even if it is, that is not really helping him that much. He'll be down to almost 2,000 life. Then again, that would make them top decking against each other. But I don't really know how good Mermel can top deck, especially without any soul charge targets, really. Tyrus, yeah, there's a solemn. Brought down to 2,000 life points. This is not looking pretty for a mermail player. He can't even really get much out of Soul Charge if he drew it. I think there's only one target in there. Oh no, there's Title. He has a Title and this. Oh my. Oh, they both pass. That it, that's a tough break for H Saxon. All he needed is one more monster. <laughs> that's hilarious. Abyss gunned. No. Rarely, rarely ever get summoned. you <laughs> beating you down with a Gun. Yeah, that's basically... That, that MST did help a lot against the wind-up factory, though, because he would have kept continuing adding monsters to hand again and again. Ah, uh, so... It looks like our Mermaid player is top-decking better than our H. Saxon over here. Because he's destroying traps and, from the looks of it, dead traps so let's hope that this guy uh, actually let's see he's gonna add dragoons it's probably gonna exceed into something it's probably gonna exceed into alucard think you don't want megalo i would get mulan glacia Oh, oh my lord, now I would definitely get Moulin Glacia. Isn't that five? That is exactly five. 
water monsters in his graveyard. Add Moulin Glacia. <laughs> Why the fuck would you torrential like that? Oh my goodness. He should... Okay, he adds Megalo. That was so dumb. So dumb. Okay, there is the possibility he just doesn't run Moulin Glacia. Who are these tap? Oh, title gets Diddy Crowed. That is why he should have run Moulin Glacia. Seriously, though. Oh, that that's gonna hurt. The question is, does this dude have any more monsters? got four cards, you gotta have something. Salvage. Yup. <sighs> Alright, so Megalo's live. This dude has run it back. So angry with myself for game one. <laughs> yeah, you threw it away, dude. Why the heck did you, uh... <laughs> Make die gusto emerald. That was so dumb. <laughs> okay, so Gen X controller added. He sent marksman in the graveyard. Oh, that that. Oh, you fucked up now. <laughs> oh, you fucked up now. <laughs> but to be honest, he didn't really fuck up because he still has uh, targets for Megalo in his hand. If I'm not mistaken, Gundy. And, uh, I don't know what else he has. Okay, Turge. That's more than enough to get advantage back here. Gundy can reborn. What can she reborn? Probably Pike. Because he doesn't have any level 7s. So if he had another level 7 in the graveyard, that would be the nuts. I mean, he has game at this point. Because both these monsters are getting run over. Plus, he's not even done with his combo. Okay, he is done with his combo. <laughs> so, he's now top decking against five cards. And here comes the scoop. In before scoop. In before scoop. He could top deck a wind up rat. Or like a sanctum. Nah, it's scoop face. Thank you guys for joining me on this epic wind-up uh, adventure. This has been Slacker Magician. It's a shame that uh, we didn't really get to see anything good out of the wind-up player. But, uh, peace out. Have a good day. <laughs>